All right. So here we have TCL AR glass. That's XR. And XR. XR. Yes. Next way S. Let me bring our award. What's the resolution on the displays in here? It's 1080p. Each one. Both. Yeah. Two times 1080p displays. Yeah. yeah dual. What is the technology you use for the? Oh, bird bath. What do you uh, say? Micro LED and bird bath uh, optics technology. Oh. Yes. So it's micro LED 1080p display on each eye. Yes. And then you can see the world through it. Yeah, you can you can take it off and you can see through, and at the same time you can see the display. But if you put the magnetic uh, lens back, you will enjoy a much more immersive view. And then it's not transparent anymore with the lens. Is that right blocking now the light? So, yeah, it's blocking the light. Uh, what does XR mean? XR means extended reality. So it means ex expanding your vision. Uh, right now, what you will see here will be a 130 inch huge resolution, a uh, high resolution huge screen. So you feel like you just walk into the cinema with this pair of device. How long is the battery? Does it power off the phone or it's, it's batteries inside? It's powered by the devices it's connected. So, so as the long phone as is you're... giving power? Yes. Wow. So if the phone has a little uh, hub and with a power bank, you can play for 10 hours. Oh yeah, definitely. Continue. Yeah, continue. Yeah. And are there specific apps to have a good experience? Oh yeah, yeah. we tailor made an app called TCLAR. So if you enter the app, you can do mirror screen and can, you can use your phone as a controller. So right now I'm looking at the display here and I can use my phone to select the content I wanted to watch. I don't need to check the phone screen. So I can just watch here. Right now I'm, walk, I'm looking at a 3D video of device view. Nice. Yes. So yeah, and what's special about it is it also features a, a unique technology called whisper mode. So it cancels out the high and low frequency of sound, so get there, there's no sound leakage. So even if you get the volume to the maximum, and the people sitting next to you cannot hear anything that you're listening. So we really wanted to create a private viewing experience for you wherever you go. Even if you're in a public space, only you can see what you're watching, which is very immersive, and only you can hear what you're Listening. Can you turn around to me? Yes. And what happens when you take off these lenses? Take off so these lenses, so I will be able to see You would walk around like this image. in the street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Well, I wouldn't recommend you walking in the street, but at least in the room, in, uh, indoors, I will be able to see you clearly. You will be able to feel the surroundings, but at the same time, you can still see um, the display like hovering in front of your eyes. Yeah. Uh, is there some uh, crazy applications you're thinking about to do this, like at events? Hmm. or uh, what in museums to have oh. an augmented experience at the museum or oh, what that, it would be that that's a very interesting uh, point we're actually cooperating with different streaming platforms so for example we uh, we cooperated with air panel they create a paramedics uh, videos for you know uh, 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 major like tourist attractions worldwide so it's also on our ecosystem. So when you log into our app, and it's available in China right now. So when you enter the app, you'll be able to see, you know, like Egypt's um, and um, Turkish, and you know, anywhere uh, the major uh, tourist attractions that you can think of. You'll be able to enjoy it at home wearing our immersive AR glasses. So you don't need to travel. So this is the next wear S. S next wear S. Yes. And what's happened together with this? What is this device? Oh yeah, that's uh, this is a Steam Deck. So you can directly plug in to the Steam Deck. You don't need an adapter. And then uh, you'll be able to play games with it. Wow. So yeah. And yeah, you, don't you can play in the airplane? Yeah, you don't need to look at it. You can play anywhere? Yeah, you can play anywhere. You can play How long is it okay to do a session at one time without, you don't, don't get dizzy or headache or anything? Oh yeah, th this one is, is designed for you to you know, wear comfortably um, for a continuous period. Um, because this one is very light, um, it's, uh, it weighs 82 grams without the lens. Like even if included the lens, it's only 89 grams. So it's much lighter than a VR headset. But you still get that immersive experience with the glasses. Can we uh, remove this glass and check this one out? Oh, yeah. Is that okay for you? This Do you mind doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will try. I will try. It's a little bit... Is it heavy? 
No, because my um, I try to find a somewhere I can hold it. Okay. Okay. You get it? Yes. Okay. So this one is the star of. Um, yeah. Sorry. Right yeah, I'll put it right uh, there. Okay. Cool. I also want you to show so to, uh, to let see me come the close name. To this. Yeah. So it's called the. Uh, it's called Ray Ray Nail X2. X2. Yeah, so it's the world's first binocular full color micro LED and optical waveguide hold AR glasses. Yes, okay, yeah, hand. sure. So this is a micro LED yes. with the waveguides. Yes, and it can do binocular full color display. That's the world's first. Um, micro LED and optical waveguide is the technology that Google Glass used when they raised the concept of AR glasses 10 years ago. Um, but so far, only um, Rainil in the industry has been able to do binocular full color display. So that's how you'll be able to full see color. through full color and on both eyes. How do you do full color? So yeah, here there is a lighting engine, so it projects the color to the micro LED lenses uh, through the waveguide, and it's through doing the wave like um, a color color filter or something like that. That just makes it work in full color. So yeah, yeah, there, there are like multiple layers of reflections within the lenses and it acts like wave, that's why it's called waveguide. So in this way you will be able to see through, through through the very transparent glasses, but at the same time you will see very clear image and text displaying. Wow. How far is this from mass market? When is ready to mass production? Oh, this one. We are going to make it available to developers in Q1 very soon, in just a few weeks. So it's no longer a prototype, it's a go-to-market product. All right, Q1, next yes. few weeks. Yes, in a couple of weeks. Uh, it would be great to have amazing applications for this. Oh, yeah. Who's going to make them? It's actually it's a standalone device. You don't need to connect it to any other device, unlike that one. This one. So it has a CPU. It has, has Android. Yes, it it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 chipset inside. It's located here. So uh, here. Well. Yeah. And that, the other side has the battery. The battery. Yeah, a 590 mAh battery. How long it will last? Like two, so, three hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For basic functions, it will last over three hours. And if you turn it around, there's like a, a, camera. Is there a USB connection or something. How do you connect power? It's, it's wireless. Oh, connect power here. We have so uh, Poco pins. Yeah, Poco pins. Yeah, Poco pins. And what's special about it? You can do auto translation of multiple languages with it in both text and voice. And you can also do navigation. It has its own mapping system and it supports LAM. Nice. Yeah. And you will integrate with. Maybe oh. Google Maps, Street View, all no, these no live mapping. Google Map, it has its own mapping. So you interact like through scrolling, you'll be able to see different functions. Um, and then if you want to take photos, just one tap and there will be a photo taking. Uh, for the navigation, yeah, it has its own uh, navigation system. And we also feature a gesture recognition map. So for say, if you walk to a crossing and you don't know like which way you should go, you just wave your hand and a little map will show up up as if you are holding a map in your hand. You, it's, it's virtual, but you, you can tell with uh, the details of the nearby landmarks and showing you like which way you should go. Did you engineer all this? Do you have partners together? Like somebody's yeah, it's, asking it's in the so chat if you're working with Vuzix or it's different. No, it's independently developed by Rainil. All right. What do you say, Rainil? Rainil, R-A-Y-N-E-W. Rainil, we are incubated by TCL, but we specialize. R A Y, oh, yeah. yes, R R E Y N. Uh, Rainil. Yeah, R A Y N E O. Rainil, nice. yes. You do everything in Shenzhen. Uh, we want, we want to say like all of our, you know, we got some suppliers for different elements, but the core technologies, especially the optics um, and all of these softwares, were self-developed. Cool. How much is cost? Can I buy oh. one for 500? We no, no, probably no, but we don't have a price tag yet. It will be a little bit more, huh? A, a little Maybe. bit more, yes, yes, because a little um, bit or a lot more. We'll see. We'll see. We'll keep you guys updated. We'll see. Yes. Cool. Awesome. How do you interact with your phone on this? Because it's a fully yes. self, but you could mirror you, the phone. You, you could, could run apps on the phone. Yeah, there is a tailor-made app. There is a tailor-made app. Um, 
to connect to the phone, uh, and then with the app, you, you can also control the brightness, control the uh, the audio, and you can also transfer the photos and videos taken on the um, on the glasses. Yes, but cool. it's standalone, unless you want you need the data. All right. Yes. Uh, TCL already did the last two three years. Talking about smart glasses, right? Yeah. And yeah. what was the previous product? Is much different. That's uh, that's the, the S. The latest generation of our XR products. Yeah. I think two years ago, we uh, one or two years ago, we launched um, Nextwear Air. This sounds so that's the former ones. version of that, and we upgraded yeah. the display and also audio much to become a Nextwear X. And the AR glasses is our latest uh, flagship uh, glasses product. It just got launched at CES this year. All right, yes. and uh, you hope to sell it worldwide? Oh yeah, so for Q1, we will make it first available to developers in selected regions. So far, China and the US are the two regions that we nailed down, but definitely it's open to the global market and we look forward to adding more and more markets to our list. Cool. Yeah.